गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार आई एम रुचि मोदी वर्किंग एज साइंटिस्ट इन दिस टॉक आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट इसरोज मेट एंड ओशन डेटा प्रोडक्ट्स कैटेलॉग एंड इट्स डिसमिनेशन टू द यूजर थ्रू मॉजेक वेब पोर्टल अवेलेबल एट मॉजेक डॉट जी ओ वी डॉट इन सो मॉजेक इज बेसिकली अटोलॉजिकल एंड ओशनोग्राफिक डेटा आर्काइवल सेंटर विच कंटेन्स द डेटा फ्रॉम वेरियस सेटेलाइट्स इन सिटू ऑब्जर्वेशन लाइक डी डब्ल्यू आर रेडार and automatic weather stations so uh, coming uh, to the outline of my presentation first we will cover the mosdeq catalog under this we will see the catalogs of satellite in situ and radar then subsequently we will see the data ordering what are the key features and the procedure to order the data various options available with ordering the data additionally we will also see how one can get the near real time data further we will see that how we can track the status of the placed order request as well as the data download options so coming to the catalog so mosdeq catalog may be defined as a list of data products which are generated through satellite and in situ observations mosdeq has more than 210 data products available the key features of the catalog is that it is web based and available on the portal and can be accessed from www.mosdeq.gov.in the purpose of data products is to aware user about the data products available with the mosdeq and describing its metadata and to make the product searchable for the user so uh, this catalog can be accessed from Uh, the top link of the mosdeq that is catalog under that we have the three categories of catalog that is satellite radar and in situ so coming to the satellite catalog we have the satellite catalog from eight meteorological and oceanographic mission so here is the catalog of insat 3dr and imager payload so we can see here that Uh, this is the L one B data products. The catalog will describe about the product description. It will also have the document object identifiers associated with it. It gives the facility for mission wise search, keyword based search. We will also provide the versioning details, the acquisition calendar, which describes the day wise count of the data products available on Mosdeq over a calendar view. this application is mobile compliant and can be accessed on any device this also has the pagination capabilities the similar features are available in the radar catalog radar is basically doppler weather radar which you will be seeing under the under the topic mosdeq overview so we have the radar catalog from three stations as on today that is shar cherapunji and tulls this catalog has also the similar ca capability like satellite so here is the snapshot then we have the catalog of automatic weather stations we have the automatic weather station installed across india and presently the number is 28 this data is also automatically made available on the mosdeq in near real time so here is the mosdeq in situ catalog here we can see the product details it also has the facility to search the product based on station id station key basically it provides the keyword based search here also we provide the acquisition calendar so presently the temporal frequency is every 15 minutes so we we can see the count as 96 coming to the mosdeq data ordering so mosdeq data ordering first of all i would like to inform that this data is available free for the research purpose and we have the data products from eight meteorological emission that is insat 3d insat 3dr sketch sit 1 saral kalpana 1 insat 3a mega tropics ocean set 2 doppler weather radar and aws so mosdeq data ordering is a multi mission data ordering which provides to order the data from multiple mission and payloads it also gives the ordering of near real time data and
further it also provides the capability to do the data ordering for the archive data set. We have the single sign on login capability which provides the seamless -like access to access all the application which requires authentication. Further we have many options for the data ordering which includes band selection, format conversion either HDF or GeoTIFF, area of interest selection for a specific mission, it provides the user dashboard and interactive download or bulk download capability. So coming to the procedure of MOSDEC data ordering, so first of all a user must be a registered user of MOSDEC in order to place the data request. In order to register on MOSDEC, first user have to fill up the sign up form, then account approval is done. Once the user receives the email and completes the email verification process, the user becomes a registered user of MOSDEC. So once a user has MOSDEC user credential, one can log into the MOSDEC and here is the complete procedure. First of all, one can browse the data catalog, then there are the order options which includes format conversion, band selection and area of interest selection. After, after uh, selecting these options, one can place the order and the similar options are available for near real time data ordering which we also known as standing orders. Once a request has been placed, the user can track the status of the request and user can download the data. So here is uh, the login screen for the user. One can go to the login either from the login or from directly data access and order data. Once you provide your username and password, you will, uh, you will see the login screen like this where one can see the user dashboard. Here under the order archive data request is there. One can go to the satellite data if one want to place the request for the satellite data then it will display a catalog of the data products. One can select the product of their interest and then place the order data. It will provide the various options associated with the ordering which I have already described and includes options like versions, star date, end date. We can also define the temporal duration of the data that is a star GMT, and GMT, the format and uh, if one wants only the browse images that is also possible, one wants to get the digital data that is the pro HDF product or GeoTIFF product that is also possible, both are also possible and then one have to put the request in the cart. Once we have placed, put the request in the cart, we can see the available cart which describes the metadata also associated with each product. Remember that products are added to the cart, they are still not placed. In order to placing the request, one has to click the click here to place order, one has to sign the agreement, then a request ID is generated. This request ID is very important because this will be used in future for ordering, uh, for tracking your order. So here, uh, here are the ordering options in the detail, we can see that here Versioning information is available. So uh, missions like NC3D, we have multiple version associated with and user can place uh, the order based on the version information. One can provide the option for the format conversion that is HDF which is hierarchical data format and GeoTIFF that is geographic type image file format. One can also provide the option for band selection as NC3D are or in set 3D imager, both are, both contains six, uh, six bands. So one can provide multi band selection under this. Further lookup table or we can say parameter can also be provided along with the request. And for the GeoTIFF data products, A or I request can also be placed, that is area of interest. Once user provide the geospatial extent and other ordering options, one can add the products to the cart. The similar options are available with 
near real time data order or standing order which we can also say the subscription services available with the MOSDAQ. Here also the similar capabilities are available and can be placed for all the categories of the data sources associated with available with MOSDAQ that is DWR, radar, AWS and satellite. It also has all the capabilities which we have seen for the archive data request. Now coming to the order tracking or how to know the status of the order. So here we can see the status option under the status there is an option called archived request. Once user click the archived request, we can user can see the request available and here the status is shown. So once their status is completed, user is also intimated through the email or user can see the status of the order direct from the web portal. Once user clicks on the download option, this interactive data downloading will be open where we can see the order folder under order. There are the folders named with the request ID which has already been generated while placing the order. And under the order ID, one can see the available orders for the user. Similarly, there are other folders named in situ order, in situ standing order, which contains the data from AWS and AWS standing request respectively. So this interactive, with this interactive download, user can uh, go to the individual file and can download the data set. If user wants to perform the bulk data ordering, one should have the client like WinSCP or FireZilla or if it is a uh, uh, Linux machine, one can have LFTP or simple command prompt SFTP as well. So I am giving the example from the client software WinSCP. We can see here the screen. The important options are that our file, this protocol is SFTP protocol that is secure file transfer protocol and the host name is download.mosdeq.gov.in which we also provide the description under the email sent to the user after successful request completion. One can provide their user credential and this screen will get open. Here we can see that under order directory your archive data requests are available and by simply drag and drop one can get this data on their, on their system. So here are uh, the NRT data request which user can place for the ordering options we have already seen. This can also be downloaded through the options seen earlier like uh, interactive download or bulk data download. Uh, that's all about MOSDEC catalog and MOSDEC data ordering. Thank you.